Hey guys, I have got a writing video for you today. Um, I did a little bit of schooling with Woody the other day. We did uh, mainly sort of like circles and a little bit of pole work. I wanted to work on engaging his hind end and getting him to pick his feet up and really just start working a little bit harder basically because he is capable of a lot more than he willingly gives me on a daily basis. So I've been doing lots of circle work with him recently, um, trying to get him to bring those legs up under him, get him a little bit stronger, get some more bend as well. Um, and I started introducing pole work for him as well uh, to get him picking those feet up and to hopefully give him a bit more rhythm and consistency, um, which you will see in a little bit that he was struggling with. Um, now it does look like in the image that the poles are different distances apart. That's because I used a wide angle lens for this video and so you kind of get that weird like curved effect going on. But the poles are even, um, so he was just falling over them because he was being a spanner basically. But yeah, you'll see that in a bit. <laughs> um, so we just did a really long warm up for this one. Did a fair bit of walking, we did lots of stretching, a little bit of flexing and bending. Um, and I've just really concentrated on making sure he's walking on with purpose because I feel like a lot of the time he's ambling along and he doesn't really have much purpose about him and that does get picked up on in um, our comments on our dress our sheets a lot so yeah that's that's another thing I want to work on is just making him look like you know he's actually going somewhere as opposed to just kind of fumbling along. Okay so part of our warm-up I decided to do a little bit of pole bending. He loves doing stuff like this. Look at that happy face. <laughs> Absolutely loves it. So yeah that, that's a pretty cool thing that if you've got trot poles set up in your field you can use them for bending exercises like this which is really cool. Um, there's a couple of other things I like to do when I've got poles out as well that I didn't do in this session uh, but maybe I'll put a video together at some point with like all the exercises that we do when we've got poles out that don't just include like trotting over them. Oh he's so handsome. Look at that face. A little bit of rain back there. He's a little bit wonky on that actually. I can't tell if that was because I was giving him rubbish instructions or if he was just struggling a little bit with that. I think it was possibly a combination of the two, but he did it very nicely. Just a smidge wonky. we go again just making sure that he's walking out with purpose there um, he tried to be a bit sluggish on me so I, I got on that really quickly and on to the trotting I have to say it's been really really helpful since I've started doing YouTube I've actually I've, like, I've never filmed myself riding before I started doing this and that was one of the incentives behind this is that I wanted to have like video footage of my riding progress with each of the horses um, so that I can see if they're improving or if they're getting worse what I'm doing as well I can see what I'm doing really clearly um, so if I think to myself I had a bad ride I can watch the footage back and think ah I was doing that it wasn't the horse's fault or if I had a really good ride, I can look back and think to myself, well, what did I do to make it so good? So this has been really, really helpful for me. So I'm just doing some uh, trot to walk and then back up to trot transitions with him, just to make sure that he's listening to my leg. He can be a little bit sluggish on the transitions and he can be very um, backwards thinking in his downward transitions, um, if that makes sense. So. Quite often I find I'll do a downward transition with him and he goes into slug mode and he likes to throw in the towel at that point. So I've started introducing lots of transitions with him, uh, quite quick transitions like I'm trying to do one or two horses lengths and then go straight back up a gear 
to get him more forward thinking through those downward transitions. I want to get him out of the habit of thinking that, oh, we've gone down a gear, that means I can give up now. So he's starting to look a lot better there now already. I have to say he was a little bit argumentative with his head um, for this session, which isn't like him. Possibly because I was chasing him about a few other things. I wonder if he was expressing his frustration through being a bit mouthy with me. Um, I, I do find that it's like when you're schooling a horse, you can you can start to make progress on one thing and then they decide that they're going to throw their toys out the pram in another area. It's, it's just so funny. Getting a bit sharper on his transitions there. I'd still like him a lot sharper than that actually. Um, I still consider that to be quite a lazy transition. I've really sent him forward there because he was trying to slow down on me again. Um, I've been watching loads of like dressage training videos online um, and they've been really helpful. I've found a few really cool videos that suggested that when you've got a backwards thinking horse every time they try to slow down on you or stop you basically just send them forward like fast and hard like you just go 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 and then you come back to the pace that you wanted and then you just stop asking for anything like you just you sit how you're supposed to be sitting you stop nagging them and then you just let them go and then as soon as they start to drop back again then you chase them forward into like a really fast trot or you chase them forward into a gallop so that they then start to get the idea that every time they slack off you make them work like three times as hard and i have to say it's made massive improvements with him because i'm getting to the point now where I'm not having to nag at him, he is going and a couple of times I felt him try to back off and get a little bit lazy and he's corrected himself, he'll sort of like, he'll start to slack off a bit and then he'll go, oh no wait a minute, but if I do this I'm going to have to go really fast for a couple of laps and I can't be bothered to do that so I'm just going to keep going nicely. So that has been working really really well for us. Up into the canter now. Yeah, see he tried to stop there again, um, it's very typical of Woody, to be fair it's my fault, I have been far too soft with him in the past, I've been a really weak rider, because he's my precious fuzzy wuzzy baby boy, but he is also, you know, he has a job, you know, um, so as much as he is my fuzzy wuzzy little baby boy, and that's very much how I will always treat him, you know, we need to have a certain, like, we need to have a certain amount of respect for each other and he needs to understand that he has a job to do and if I ask him to do something, I expect him to do it. As opposed to cantering three strides and then thinking, oh, I think I'll stop now. No, that's not okay. <laughs> lots and lots of schooling to do actually still he's a little bit downhill for him um, he's a little bit heavy on the forehand but that'll all come back with a bit more schooling and a bit more practice he just seems to be leaning a little bit today that's a much nicer trot there Again, a little bit argumentative with the head though, I'm not sure what's going on there. Like I said before, I think it's possibly because I've been giving him a hard time over not being lazy and not slacking off and then I think the, the head fidgeting is just maybe his way of having a little protest about that. Oh, and he stomped his foot there, that was quite funny. <laughs> Definitely protesting that he's having to work harder today. I always like to give him a nice stretch once we've done, well, a couple of times throughout any session really, I like to let my horses have a good stretch in a long rain. That's 
that's actually something else we need to work on is him stretching out consistently so when you do dressage you in every single test you will have a free walk on a long range somewhere um, sometimes you have to do it in a trot as well um, and yeah I find with him he'll tend to stretch down for a stride or two and then he'll ping his head back up and then he'll stretch down for a stride or two and then he'll ping his head back up and what the judges are looking for really is a nice consistent stretch um, so that's something else we need to work on is him actually you know committing to the stretch and not just bobbing his head up and down whenever he feels like it I want to work on getting those canter transitions a bit tidier as well. Um, I mean, they're not awful by any means, but I would just like them to be a bit sharper and a bit tidier, and a bit smoother. See, he tried to slack off and he tried to break back into trot again there. I do apologise, someone's dog is going crazy outside right now. The joys of neighbours. <laughs> Yep, again, he tried to slack off there. Um, overall, though, he's looking pretty good on this frame, I think. I'm happy with that. Okay, and yeah, we're coming up towards the end of this session now, and I decided to start doing the trot poles now that he's well limbered up. Um, and as you can see, he's knocking them all over the place. He's just not thinking about where he's putting his feet. He's not got any consistency within the trot there at all. Um, I don't know what throws him with trot poles. It's like he can do a lovely consistent trot normally, but then when you put the poles on the ground, he's sort of like, he'll do one or two of them. And then he's like, oh, I need to put an extra step in. I can't figure out what I'm doing. But actually all he has to do is just keep going exactly as he is and he'd be fine. Um, maybe he overthinks it, maybe he's a bit like me. <laughs> Letting the conscious brain do too much. He just needs to switch off a bit and let the subconscious take care of it, I think. That one was a lot better. I don't think he knocked any poles that time. Yeah, see, I've let, I was happy with that one clearly because I've let him stop and have a little walk as a reward there. Yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, the poles look like they're at funny distances, but they are evenly, um, evenly paced. It's just the wide angle lens of the camera makes the screen look a bit curved. See, almost, almost got those ones, just clipped that middle one there. Making sure he's going forward again there. He tried to slack off a little bit then. Almost again, just clipped that one. See, he's made it harder for himself now because he's actually rolled that pole a few inches. So now they're not evenly spaced. Oops, and we stumbled again on that one. See, I can never tell if he struggles with the concept of his foot placement when he's doing this. Like, like I said, maybe he's overthinking it. <clears throat> or I can't tell if he's maybe just being a little bit lazy and doesn't quite want to pick his feet up. See, because he did that perfectly then. But I was sort of chasing him a bit more at this point. Um, I was being a bit more insistent about the fact that, you know, come on, crack on, sort yourself out. You know, you're a big boy now, you know how to do trot poles. There we go, look, that's nice. Yeah, I was happy with that one, so I've let him have his rest again. And a 
another nice stretch. So just to finish off the session, I thought I would test him. Um, back to the pole weaving, I thought I'd have a go and see if we could do it at a steady trot, which he pretty much pulled off. Really, really good for his suppleness. Um, and also make sure he's paying attention to you. So I was pleased with that. That was a really nice way to finish the ride. Um, and yeah, that was it with this one. I was really happy with him for this ride. Um, he's made loads of improvements and we're definitely moving in the right direction. So thank you so much for joining me for this one today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, schooling session we did and I will see you in our next video. Bye!